FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman with the Tiger Financial News Network market update. After that market kickoff with Tommy O'Brien at 9 o'clock, starts every day, every market day, that is. Great show. What we're looking at now is the Dow's down 60 points at 31,521. After a really fabulous session yesterday, I realized that there wasn't the volume of such a but price-wise, look what it did. It made a low of 31,182. And on uh, that was on what are we now Thursday on Tuesday, and then Wednesday it made a higher low, and it just kept every single excuse it could could take to stair step higher intraday. It took that, and now this is going to be a very important session. Why? Because if there is a, a steady, we've already gone halfway into the full candle of yesterday. If there is a move in the Dow that is able at the close of today, be within, oh, it's down 101 points, but let's just say it's just down minus 30. And Friday, there's a new recovery high. That would suggest what we've done is on a very short term basis. Remember, the technicals are still extremely weak. So you can only treat this as a short term bounce. That's what we're doing for subscribers to the opening call. It's a bounce. And then we have to see exactly what happens. Now, if you're looking at the S&P, the S&P is down 13 at 39.66. It made a low of 39.03. Had a fabulous session yesterday. But both the Dow and the S&P need to climb above the pink nine-period exponential moving average, in this case, 39.93. You're looking at QQQ. Uh, that's the index 100. Doing okay. It's down 96 at 298. Had a very good session yesterday. But that pink nine moving average is 301. That's a long way to go at this particular point. And you're looking at the IWM. The IWM is the Russell 2000. This is not a bad candle at all. It's down 65 cents in 181.40. Now, we're going to be following gold very closely. Gold was trying to rally. It actually got all the way to the black 14 period moving average, went to 17.39, and now it is down seven points at 17.20. And why? Because that dollar is still very strong. Uh, it's made a leg E at, at a new 20 year recovery high. Um, that looks very good. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. There's a lot to discuss. Be back. Hope you can stay. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. Great programming here all the way through 4 o'clock. Hope you can stay.